Hello, I'm Anthony Bento, and this is the first part of the basic tutorial on photography. And uh, we're going to talk about just basic approaches to a photographic situation and how to approach an event or really any type of uh, situation where you're with a camera and you want to capture something. So this is the first image we're going to go through, and it's of Butterscotch. She here is performing for an event that's uh, a youth fair that's being held. Uh, back in May, May of 2009, and sh this is this image is pretty much mediocre in every possible way. This uh, images like this are a bulk of the images I take uh, I photograph look somewhat like this image, and they're pretty mediocre. There there's really nothing exciting or interesting about this image. Um, the look isn't too pleasing uh, on her face. It's not that flattering of an image it's just very very mediocre this image is much more flattering it tells a much better story and it's just much more pleasing compositionally this image was taken about 10 minutes later uh, and you can see it has an entirely different background it's just very different uh, you know very different image from this although it's of the same subject it tells a much more compelling story, a much more complete story than this image. You can see where is in the first image, you had kind of a basic um, colored background, doesn't really, you know, that you kind of get a sense that maybe you might be at a park or some sort of fair or something, but this one, you get to see the balloon, you get to see everyone in the back having a good time, you get to see her having a good time, and um, so it tells a much better story. It's a uh, much, much, uh, much more superior photograph than this one. And the way you take images like this is persistence. You take a lot of images. And this gives you an example of how many photographs I took of just this one performer at this one event. I took 143 images of just her performance. And I'm not saying go out there and take 143 images, but I think that it's you know that persistence does pay off and oftentimes beginning photographers or any you know that I, I I'll, I'll I'll be guilty of this sometimes that will will not take enough images will not be persistent enough we will not explore the space in a really different and um, compelling way uh, when you're taking an image uh, taking photographs of a situation there's often many different ways of approaching it this is a very direct way but it's artistically in, uh, inferior to images such as this, 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 or this, all of which tell different aspects of the same story in a more compelling way um, and are just much more pleasing to the eye. Um, these, you take images like this, like I mentioned before, by exploring the space, uh, thinking about the story, um, and pretty much most of all, not being afraid to move around and be aggressive. Uh, the, oftentimes, it's very, very difficult for photographers to get over that initial fear of being, you know, uh, you feel like you're a nuisance, and you just need to get over that. You're there to take images, and you're doing everyone a service for promoting that event. So get out there, take photographs, um, and you know that out of this entire event, I took 690 images in just one day, and that kind of illustrates, you know, if you're really persistent, take lots of images you can get some pretty compelling um you, uh, some pretty co compelling photographs and although quality is not necessarily a result of the quantity of the images that you take it, nevertheless it helps you know to have take a lot of images and not only are you going to perfect your abilities as a photographer by capturing a lot and being aggressive and moving around your space you are you know you are going to take better images for it uh, so you know that I think that the absolute most important thing to remember as a photographer is to really explore the space around you and take lots of images and don't be afraid. This is another example of an image that is pretty basic, kind of like this one. Um, doesn't really say that much. It's of a subject, in this case, Senator Steinberg, um, a politician in Sacramento, and it's you know, it's it's very it's limited artistically and doesn't really say that much. Whereas this image is of the same event of the same politician, tells a little bit more about what's going on, and it's much more compelling. So, 
it kind of goes to illustrate how being aggressive, using the space, note how I'm at a completely different orientation, you know, I whereas, you know, that I'm moving almost 180 degrees to get this photograph. And to take this photograph, I, I had to ask for permission for, uh, for using this space behind him. They were very enthusiastic, the people uh, holding the event, that I was taking photographs, and they, they uh, were happy to let me take photographs behind them as long as I was discreet and um, you know, didn't make a big ruckus or anything. I, you know, they were more than happy. So uh, because of that persistence, because of me asking and me snapping a lot of images, I was able to take an image that is a lot more superior than one that might be settled on by some other photographers. Or, you know, if it was a bad day, maybe I would just be like, hey, this one gets the job done, who cares? Um, but this one in the end is a little bit more compelling. Photographs like this illustrate, you know, it's although it's not a terrible image, it's not a great image. Um, what ha Photographs like this illustrate what happens when you are afraid of your subjects. Uh, for whatever reason, I was just not you know not in the mood to challenge these people's space spaces even though they were in a public venue they were performers i just didn't have the courage to get in front of them at this time and s settled on taking these behind uh behind the person shots that you know although you can kind of see these interesting uh you know uh instruments up here it's you know the you know, it's not that great of an image. Whereas here, I got up the courage later when they were actually performing to get close. And, um, you know, that I was able to snap a photograph that's far superior to this one um, because I had that courage. And um, because I was persistent, because I was taking many photographs, uh, I was able to snap this one. And, you know, that really it comes down to that courage um, you know, not being afraid of your situations and taking a ton of photographs. Um, when you're in a, when you're in a situation, you know, like a fair or a festival, be aggressive, move around. It, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, and I think that all too often we psych ourselves out. People that are caught, you know, people that we see like professional photographers that we think are very confident. How can they do that? You know, that they have, everyone has apprehensions and fears of, you know, uh, of, you know, being close to people, but the more you do it, the more you get into people's faces, uh, and snap those images. And the more images you snap, the better you become. It's like anything else. Um, this is a little bit different. This was before, the youth fair where I snapped photographs of butterscotch. I saw this dad playing with his beautiful daughter and wanted to snap a few images of them uh, while I was waiting around for everything to be set up. So I asked the dad and he was very enthusiastic, like 90% of people, the people like to get their photograph taken. And um, so I uh, snapped away and was able to capture a pretty, pretty cute photograph of his daughter um, and some other ones that are pretty cute too. Uh, and it just kind of goes to show that like you need depending on your environment you know if it's a fair if it, there's a ton of people snap away it's assumed that there are going to be photographers in these spaces in rallies and performances or whatever who cares snap away be aggressive the worst thing that can happen is people say get the heck out of here uh but that very very rarely happens if it's of a more intimate situation and you don't know the people it's nice to ask um, because oftentimes people will be very enthusiastic, explain you're from the Sacramento press, you're doing a story and they'll be like, oh yeah, sure, great, take some photographs. And um, because of that, instead of me taking some creepy telephoto shot of this child, um, I'm able to actually interact with her and um, get a much better image because of that. And you know that, yeah, creepy photographs are no good. Uh, just ask, ask people. Ask people for permission if you feel it's appropriate, but just have the courage to ask them because if you don't, you're not going to get anything.